So, our main aim for treatment of this condition is not to cure the disease. This disease is uncurable. Uncurable in the sense, we cannot remove the IgA antibody from the body and we cannot remove that deposited antibodies from the kidney tissue. So, whatever treatment which we are going to give is to control the disease and to delay the progression of kidney damage. So, if we have any patient with IgA nephropathy, we give medications or we advise the lifestyle modifications in these patients so that uh, our aim is to make their kidneys work for longer duration as much as possible. So, the first one is the lifestyle changes. The first lifestyle changes which we advise in these patients are, uh, first one is the weight control. If the patient is overweight or obese, we ask them to control their weight. The second one is to stop smoking and avoid alcohol. The third one is if their cholesterol levels or if their lipid levels are abnormal, they need to control that. After that, the important one is to restrict salt in the diet. Normal amount of salt which we advise them to take is less than 5 grams per day, which means the salt which is present in 1 teaspoon. They have to take it in full 24 hours. They should not take more salt. Because if we increase the amount of salt in the diet, it will lead to increased blood pressure, it will lead to increased protein loss in the urine and it can lead to increased kidney damage. So, these are the important lifestyle modifications which we advise in these patients and we ask them to uh, predominantly take plant-based diet also. So, these are the lifestyle medications. Now, coming to the other medications. So, any patient with IgA nephropathy, usually we target their protein levels in the urine. If they lose more protein, our aim is to decrease the protein in the urine as much as possible to nil. So, to towards this aim, we start medications. The first type of medications which we give in these patients is uh, are ang angiotensin receptor blockers or angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. These are the medications which will decrease the protein levels in the urine and the second type of medications which we give them are SGLT2 inhibitors. So, these are also the medications which will decrease the protein levels in the urine. So, if the patient has mild protein loss in the urine around less than 1 gram, so we start these medications and if, this, if their protein levels are coming down and they are below 1 gram, we usually continue these medications. But if their protein levels are more than 1 gram, even after starting these medications, there are other types of medications like steroids. Steroids are tried in these patients to decrease the protein levels. But steroids will have their own side effects which we usually explain to the patients like increased risk of infections, bone problems, mood changes, lack of sleep, skin changes. So, these are all the side effects which can be there with steroids. So, if the patient is having excess protein loss in the urine, even after giving the routine conservative management, then we start steroids in these patients. So, this is about IgA nephropathy, which is an important cause of permanent kidney failure and it is a most common cause of glomerular disease worldwide, which can lead to permanent kidney failure.